In this video, I'm going to go over some helpful tips regarding fractions and decimals. So the first would be how to convert a fraction to a decimal. So let's start with a very basic one, 1 8. So if I do 1 8, 1 divided by 8, that'll convert 1 8 to a, a decimal, which is 0.125. And if I want to convert that decimal back to a fraction, I could retype it, 0.125, and then do this, or I can just leave it. And then I'm going to go to math, and I'm going to stay there under math. So number one will convert your decimal to a fraction. Number two will convert your fraction to a decimal. So I'm going to stay there at one and just press enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to convert 0.125 to a fraction, and boom, I've got one eighth. Now, let's say if you have a TI-84, one of the things that you can do is go to alpha, then y equals. So alpha, y equals, and then you see you have some um, functions here. And on number one, it says n over d. So if I click that, now I can see that I can enter a fraction the way that you'll that you typically write it on a sheet of paper, which a lot of students are really comfortable with. So now if I write one arrow down over eight, arrow out of my denominator, and then I click it, it stays as a fraction. So if I enter it in as a fraction like that, it will stay as a fraction. Now let's do something like one eighth times one half. So if I were to enter this in the way, if you have a TI-83, a lot of you would probably do open parentheses, 1 divided by 8, close parentheses, open parentheses, 1 divided by 2, close parentheses, 1 eighth times 1 half, and I get 0 0.0625, and now I want to convert it to a fraction. What do I do? Math, enter, and I'm going to convert that answer to a fraction, and it's 1 16th. If I enter in those fractions in that fraction world, let's call it alpha y equals, enter, and some students are just more comfortable with this, 1 over 8 arrow out. We're going to multiply that by alpha y equals, enter, 1 over 2 arrow out. Now, when I press enter, it stays as a fraction. So it's really just what you're comfortable with. Um, I grew up with a TI-83 entering all my fractions in like this, so I just do that super duper fast. But a lot of students now, if you have a TI-84, you can do alpha y equals.